Verse 29. But Peter and the apostles answered. And here, here they, they make the issue clear, don't they? Don't they? We must what? Obey God rather than men. Now we've talked about this. We've talked about how Romans 13, 1 and 5 and other passages make it absolutely clear that the believer is, as, as a believer, is under divine mandate to obey human governmental authorities. Whether you're talking about the human government, whether you're talking about the police officer, whether you're talking about the teacher in the classroom or the coach or whatever, that we are under human systems of authority. But when those human systems of authority ask you to do something that contradicts the Word of God, you have not only the right but the duty to say no to that human system of authority. I love the passage over in Daniel. Daniel chapter 3. You know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right? With the, with the statue of the golden image. And they're told to bow down to the golden image. Daniel 3.16. Daniel 3.16. And they're told to bow down to the image. And they stand before Nebuchadnezzar. And by the way, they're, they're in captivity. They're in Babylon with thousands of other Israelites who were in captivity for idolatry. That's why they were there. And what's interesting is in, the, in Daniel 3, uh, you have all the other Israelites who are face down in compliance with the king's edict. And you have three, three, and they were probably just teenagers at this time, three that refuse to obey Nebuchadnezzar's command to bow down and to worship the golden image. And it's just absolutely amazing. And we know what happened. They were thrown into the furnace. But Daniel 3.16, it says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they give this reply to the king, uh, reply to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to give you an answer concerning this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the furnace of blazing fire. And he will deliver us out of, out of uh, your hand, O king. But I love verse 18. But even if he does not, even if he does not, and they realized that there was a real possibility he might not. But even if he does not, let it be known to you, O king, that we are not going to serve your gods or worship the golden image that you have set up. That's it. We know that he's able, but even if he doesn't, we're not, we're not going to bow down. Because they knew that to do so was to violate the clear teaching of the word of God that said, thou shalt have no other gods before me. And so they were absolutely willing to suffer, as we see here is the same case in Acts 5, in which Peter says, absolutely, we must obey God rather than men. Verse 29. 